day, students. So we are continuing in our revision class as we'll be looking into numerical processes too. And we'll be targeting commercial arithmetic today. Now, at the end of today's lesson, I believe that you should be able to calculate simple interest and amount, calculate compound interest, and calculate appreciation, depreciation, and inflation. So now, let us pick it from simple interest. Generally, when you are talking about simple interest, we have P of T over 100. That is, principal times rate times time involved. P is for principal, R for rate, T for time or period. Then the I, simple interest. Now we have a month E. Now I want you to pay attention to this because the application of this topic is very, very important in the commercial world. Now, when you are talking about amount here, amount is equal to the principal plus interest at the end of the day. In banking sector and some other areas, they are used to this method in giving out loans and other things. So take note of that. Amount is equal to principal plus interest. And before we go, I want you to take note of this. PA implies per annum. There are some questions that it will be per week. We have some that it will be per month. But anytime you are given question in per amount, per annum, at the end of the day, even if you are given your time in months, you must convert that month to years. Even if you are given it in weeks, you must convert it to years. That's the meaning of the per amount. So you must calculate your interest in terms of year. So take note of that. When we get to Google Classroom, we will solve some questions, some questions related to that. So also we have compound interest. This is another method of paying interest, which is different from simple interest. But the difference between the two is that simple interest will pay the same amount as interest throughout the years involved. But in compound interest, you pay your interest year after year. So now we are going to use this simple example to explain this. Then when we get to Google Classroom, we will now solve more taxing questions. For instance, in this case, calculate the compound interest on 10,000 Naira for two years at 5% per annum. In this case, our principal is equal to 10,000. That's the initial principal. We we'll put zero here. That's the initial principal. Now, our time is two. Now, our rate is equal to 5%. So, for us to calculate interest one, this will be 100, 10,000 times 5 over 100. Take note, in this case, I'm not using this year because I've said it earlier that we calculate interest per year in compound interest, unlike simple interest. If it is simple interest, I'll just put these two here. We are good to go. But here now, your year is always one. We calculate it one after the other. So at the end of the day, we will have this will give us 500 naira. So in this case, after the, this is the interest one. So the first amount, amount one, that is that will give us principal plus interest. And this is equal to 10,000 naira plus 500. At the end of the day, we have 10,500 here. So at the end of the year one, the amount we have here is 10,500 here. So when you are moving to second year, your principal one now, that's why we use not the other time, but this time around we have principal one, will be 10,500 naira. So our interest two will be equal to 10,500 naira times 5 over 100. If you like, you can put this one here because that one is for the year. 
So in this case, again, we go with this. So you have 105 times 5, which will surely give us 525 naira. So this is what we are talking about. At the end of the second year now, we have right to our compound interest is equal to I1 plus I2. That is the interest for the year one and the interest for the year two, which will be 500 naira plus 525. At the end of the day, we will have 1,025 naira. So another way we can, do, another method we can use to get this thing is that we can have the interest here plus the principal one. So we now subtract the initial principal from it. So this is the compound interest. So take note of this method. And we also have formula method to calculate compound interest. Now look at the formula method. That is amount is equal to principal into 1 plus R over 100 raised to power T. Take note of this thing. In some cases, you may see this thing in form of A, but it's still talking about time, the period. So if you use this method for the same question we saw, you will get the same answer. So whatever you get for a month, for you now to get your compound interest, so compound interest will now be a month minus principal. That will give you compound interest. So when we get to Google Classroom, we will solve more questions on this. So if, and after this, we are still going to solve questions involving inflations, depreciation, and others. So now, I will be expecting you in the Google Classroom as we will be solving more taxing and WAEG questions on this topic. Thank you.